guys, this is Gujbi Rafi. Today I am going to show you how to make butter paneer masala. Uh, so guys, we will start with the ingredients now. Uh, this is the white paste. White paste is nothing much. All what I did is I took 4 normal sized onions and half a cup, a little more than that, cashew nuts. If you don't have cashew nuts, you can go ahead and use melon seeds also. Uh, what I did is I fried onions, 4 onions, I chopped them and plus uh, half a cup, a little more than that cashew nuts or melon seeds. I fried them nicely in oil so that they become nice, crisp and crunchy. They should not become uh, golden brown, maybe close to golden brown, but they should not become complete golden brown. They should be still looking the white. Uh, then all what you've got to do is when it cool down, run in the mixer to make it a paste as this kind. So this is onions and cashew paste which have been already fried and then been pasted. Here I'll be using two cups or uh, two cups of tomato puree. This is my homemade puree. This is really thick and rich. You can log into my videos to see how to make tomato puree guys. Or you can buy, even buy the store brought also. So I'll be using two cup of tomato puree which is uh, really thick and nicely pure. I'll be using half a cup of uh, cream. I'll be using the whipped cream. So half a cup of whipped cream. Then uh, ginger garlic, ginger paste, two tablespoon of fresh ginger paste, a two and a half tablespoon of fresh garlic paste, uh, cooking oil, little bit of cooking oil, sugar at the last. Then here I have butter. I'll be adding a large amount of butter as is butter paneer masala. So butter I'll be using somewhere around uh, three to four tablespoons or maybe three tablespoons. A heap of tablespoons of butter with the combination of some oil. So I'll be using oil also here as you can see. Then I have somewhere around 300 grams of paneer, 3 to uh, 350-400 grams of paneer cut into nice thick dice and cubes as you can see. You can cut into the style you like. I have uh, 4 to 5 cloves that is long. Then uh, dalcini, maybe 1 or 2 sticks. Cinnamon, that is, uh, sorry, cardamom, that is uh, chakl, uh, elaichi which have been pounded open and have pounded the seeds. Uh, 4 to 5 uh, cardamom I have been using. Coriander, chopped, half a cup of coriander. Then this is dry kasturi methi. This is the dry methi leaf, which are called as kasturi methi. Uh, one tablespoon. Then I have the chaat powder, half a tablespoon. Uh, zira powder, half a tablespoon. Tandoori powder, one large table, a teaspoon. Then uh, dhania powder, half a teaspoon, salt according to taste. Garam masala, one tablespoon, one tea. Uh, dhania powder, half a teaspoon, salt according to taste. Garam masala, one tablespoon, one teaspoon. And guys, you can uh, add even red chili powder uh, into this. You use the Kashmiri red as it will give you a lovely color and taste to it. Huh? Uh, so guys, this is my version of preparing butter paneer masala. We usually prepare it like this at home. Apart from that guys, uh, you can do another thing. Uh, you can combine all the ingredients other than the spices, your dry spices. You can combine tomatoes, onions, ginger garlic, uh, melon seeds, other uh, cashew seeds etc. And uh, this cardamom, uh, cinnamon, uh, chakla or the what do you say, cinnamon all together and pressure cook it and then when it's cooled down you can even run in the mixer but i'll be using it uh, in my way so i've showed you already the ingredients so guys i took a pan i added a three tablespoon of oil and a four tablespoon of butter as you can see here once the butter melts nicely so guys uh, once your butter nicely melts with the oil and gets nicely blended See that the volume is on low because we don't want the spices what we add into it to get burnt. So keep the volume on low, very thin. Then once the butter melts nicely, I'll be adding the long chakla elaichi, that is cinnamon, cardamom and clough into the oil and fry nicely. Once I get the light and the nice intensifying aroma, I'll be adding the ginger garlic paste. Now I'll be adding the ginger paste. 
and stir fry it nicely till it gives nice intensifying aroma and loses out or escapes its raw aroma. So guys, uh, once your ginger garlic paste uh, loses its uh, raw aroma and start giving intensifying aroma, don't try to cook it more. Now I'll be adding uh, the white paste. As I told you, I took four onions, sliced them, half a cup of cashew nuts or the melon seeds. Uh, I fried them with the onions nicely till slightly uh, crisp and nice, not golden brown or close to lightly golden brown. And then run them in the mixer where I got this delicious creamy, creamy onions uh, paste here, which I'll be nicely frying in the masala. It's really thick and rich and tasty, guys. Butter and oil. And I'll be stir frying nicely once again. I'll stir fry this nicely till it leaves off oil. Uh, so guys, you should always use a heavy bottom pan as these ingredients might catch at the bottom. Though you add a lot, large quantity of butter or uh, oil to it. So guys, I'll nicely stir fry this till it starts leaving oil from side and the masala or the white masala gets nicely cooked into the pan and starts leaving oil. Guys, once your masala nicely starts leaving oil or butter or you feel it's become nice, uh, nicely uh, stir fried in the oil as you can see here. Now all what you've got to do is we'll be adding the tomato puree. Somewhere around 2 cup to uh, 1 and a half cup of rich thick tomato puree as you can see here. Mix it nicely. Mix the tomato puree nicely and cook it till the raw aroma of the tomato puree escapes and it gets nicely thickened and becomes nice yummy and tasty. Uh, so guys, once the tomato puree and all the masala nicely gets blended with each other and it gets nicely cooked and almost like fried, then we'll be adding the garam masala that is uh, one teaspoon as I told you. Then tandoori masala, one teaspoon as I told you that also. Then here I have the zira, zira powder, that's the cumin powder, half a teaspoon. Then chaat powder half a teaspoon, dhania powder, half a teaspoon, salt according to your taste, then I have the nice kasturi methi here, that's the dry fenugreek leaves, you should always rub it and add into the dish, so that it gives its nice intensifying aroma into the dish, I see rub it and add it into the dish, and now we will cook this for approximately 2 to 3 minutes. Guys, I have added even the Kashmiri Lal powder, which will give the red and a really yummy taste to your masala. Right? After I added all the dry spices, kasturi methi, all that, tandoori powder, zira powder, all that, I cooked it for somewhere around 1 to 2 minutes on the low volume. It gave, the, it gave out this nice and tasty uh, aromatic uh, flavors into the dish. Now I'll be adding the cream, uh, aromatic uh, flavors into the dish. Now I'll be adding the cream. So guys, once you add the cream, we'll be mixing it well. I added approximately half a cup of cream. I added a half a cup of nice thick cream into it. And keep it on the, once you add the cream, remember the volume should be on very low. Otherwise it'll just get curdled up. Uh, I mixed, it, mixed the cream. Now I'll be adding the cubes of paneer. And I'll cook it for approximately on very low flame for 10 minutes. Remember guys, you have added cream. Once you add cream, never intend to cook it on high flame as it will curdle up. Once you add the nice fresh paneer over it, mix it well and cook it well. Add all the pieces of paneer. So guys, once you mix the cream and then you keep it on the low flame, now I will be mixing the paneer into it as you can see here. Once you mix the paneer nicely into the gravy, cook it for approximately 5 to 10 minutes on low flame. As you have added cream into it, 
see that the volume is on very low i repeat because people do this mistake and the whole dish goes to a mess it is curled up and it gets split which would not give you a good taste and look to the butter paneer masala so guys as you can see the paneer has been uh, mixed with the masala and it absorbs the masala and it's tasting really yummy we'll be adding the fresh coriander over it and then you can go ahead and add fresh cream over it in a beautiful style we are done with the butter masala please guys like our video and subscribe bye bye